Hello, everybody. Princess the Bear here. You guys did it. Uh, I doubted you. Very quickly, you did it. Yeah, very quickly. I didn't think you were going to get halfway there. I'm not going to lie. But uh, you guys hit the 110 light gold and kept going. So here we are at Morimoto. Yes. So probably the quickest turnaround for restaurant revisit we've ever done. Yes. So uh, you guys wanted me to do this $110 sushi tower. So we're going to do that. And I hear the princess wants to eat something else. So yes. We're going to run inside and uh, see if I can climb said mountain. Be sure to be quiet. You're right there, girl. I feel as if this waiter just found my love language. He handed me their house-made soy sauce, marinated in dashi fish stock, and in bourbon barrels. Bourbon barrel fish soy sauce. It's like I'm in love. Tender bean juice, sake, there's plum wine inside as well. Thank you so much. Mad props to our waiter for filling this glass the appropriate height. We had to eat the sake sangria again, you guys. It's like the best drink ever. It's like just drinking straight tangerine juice with like a, a little bit of a grapey flavor. It's so good. Glad to see this cup again. If you guys haven't already watched our last video of what happens when the princess tries to drink one of these by herself, you need to go see that. Mm. Three and a half out of five bucks. This dish I was absolutely obsessed with the last time I came here. It was a lot bigger the last time I came here as well, but I'm not mad at the redesign of this dish. It, it, it looks, smells very fragrant. I'm just gonna take a little piece of cauliflower here. Oh my God. There's a party in my mouth right now. You guys are all invited. This is amazing. This is so good. It's like the nice, like, orange chicken, but better. Cauliflower is like the best thing ever. The sauce that they use for this is like unbeatable. It's so good. City Works, eat your heart out. This is how you come pal cauliflower. Woo, that's a big one. So I love that it, I feel like they upped the game on the, at least the display and like plating of this cauliflower. But these hunks are huge. I wish most places, City Works included, would cut these just a little bit smaller. But that's a big bite. Mm. I love the consistency of the sauce. It's nice and thick. Not to stick to the cauliflower, but not so thick that it feels like you're like got gum in your mouth. It's got a nice little crunch to it. Warm all the way through. Four out of five plus, I think. I would order this on my own and not feel bad about it. On the side here, you have a few pieces of sashimi. Uh, you have uh, over here a salad macro, a matcha yellowtail, and a diet snapper. And here is uh, a flounder, a triple cocktail as well. Three sauces on the side right over here. We have ceviche, jalapeno fish soy, and wasabi cocktail. Okay. On top here, we have a few pieces of uh, nigiri and sushi, a sushi roll. We have the spiked tuna roll. We have uh, maguro tuna, a matcha yellowtail, sake salmon, shimari striped yak, ebi shrimp, and some more tuna right in the center. And we have a shrimp pound cake. Mm. All right. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Well, you guys asked for this. I was expecting something just a little bit more go to eat, like vertical. But uh, this is a little bit more manageable because I don't want to be reaching the sushi over my head, I suppose. A little lobby down here. His little eyes. See him down here hiding. He's so cute. Not for you plant based folks, mind you, but for me. I don't even know where to start. Go with my dessert first. 
No, save the best for last. Alright, well, let's slide this bourbon they gave me over here. It's, they have a special house soy sauce that they have. We're just gonna start with the sushi and just work our way through it. I was worried about finishing this. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems. But you guys start betting against me now. Good old yellowtail. Mm. Soy sauce does have a unique flavor to it. Soy sauce, I'm giving that a four out of five. Well, if they bottled this, I would buy it. Yellowtail, three out of five claws. Now the tuna, look at that. That's just beautiful. Mm. They like rub wasabi and like the, the fatty cuts of the tuna. Nice little kick to it. Four and a half out of five claws. Try some of these other sauces they have down here. This is jalapenos in it. Tunerific, sort of. Look at that, three and a half out of five claws. That soy sauce is not as good as this soy sauce, that's for sure. We have more white fish. Let's try with this like chimichurri down here. Mmm. That's different. Very citrusy. Like right? There's a kick to it. Opens you up a little bit. Well, let's try the shrimp and the cocktail sauce. Not a fan of that, I should have said that for a lobster. Mm. Look at that. Two and a half out of five claws. My least favorite so far. And we got some rolls up here. Nice sesame seeds. It's thick. I think some seaweed wrap in here. It's like lettuce as well. I know I'm supposed to be suffering right now, but I'm not. My wallet will be suffering. Stomach is gonna be in heaven. I'm mad at myself that I can't get one of these every week. Though I'm sure if I'd offered the cauliflower to the princess, she wouldn't say no. It's by fish. Hmm? It's by fish. Cauliflower is your fish? Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't say no. You wouldn't say no? You're like, hey, you want to go get cauliflower? Pump cow? This house soy sauce has a nice kick. I want to put on like everything. Mm, the rolls, four out of five applause. I would love to see Tokyo Dining or something like this, but do like Mickey shaped towers. Like a Mickey or a Donald, maybe even a Baymax. You can thank me later, Disney, it's okay. We also have up here top this uh, little tuna like rose in the middle. Don't worry, I'm gonna eat that too. Like little petals, there's tons of them in here. Hold up. Mm. Move these sauces where I can get them a little bit easier. Let's take a break from the sushi. Let's just do an oyster. I think will go really well. It's like chimichurri they have. I've never eaten an oyster with chopsticks before. Interesting. Not bad, interesting. Not my favorite thing. I love oysters, don't get me wrong. But not as much as I love sushi. In the pairing, it's like you have the whole ocean here. Oh, nice. They have the oysters. Three out of five claws. A little lobby claw. It's a 
little no. song. Pinchy. Pinchy. From the shape of a pinchy. Yeah? Yep. It's so good. And then we have like this plate they gave me that's all like uh, it said flounder, like very thinly shaved. It's like dismantling a GI Joe toy. You guys ever like the big GI Joe toys when you were kids? I didn't even realize that there was like fish on that plate. I yes. thought it was just like a plate. Oh, that's thin <laughs> thing. <laughs> For. Lobster. Maybe the pieces. shelf? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give that, I was excited with flounder. Which will we'll kick to it. Three and a half out of five balls. So far, I'm enjoying everything. The oysters are still my least favorite. Which is not saying a lot because I still like those too. The lobby cloth. Over here we have, look at the size of these shrimp. They're not shrimp anymore. Big boy in the block. Shell though. Sea roach on uh, Disney level steroids. My condolences to Sebastian. Is there such a thing as Disney level steroids? I mean, look at what Disney does to donuts and cookies. Now this is meant for the cocktail sauce. Nice and chilled, fresh, not yeasty, clean, which is good. The quality, it's a great egg. Save the shrimp, three and a half out of five bucks. What else we got here? I gotta try it. So we have pieces of lobster like everywhere. They like arrange the tail like all underneath. I think from now on, I'll need all my shellfish with chopsticks. Mm. That's good. Three and a half out of five balls. I think it's a beast. It's obviously meant for families. But uh, you guys go to me into this spiritually. We have some uh, skin on fish over here. Picking sauces at random now. It's like swordfish almost. Mmm. Extremely oofy. And the skin's still on it. Mm. If you like skin on stuff, you'll love that. If not, I'd avoid it. But it's three out of five balls for me. More fish this time with scales. If anything, I think the princess suffers through more of these than I do. Watching me like devour creatures of the sea over and over again. We're getting there. Piece of time. Maybe we should have done this for my birthday this year. Not that I didn't like my birthday food, that was good. Just can't put fish in front of a bear and pick him out to finish it. Now this they told me is very interesting. It is a shrimp pound cake. Cake? Cake? Shrimp loaf for shrimp cake. Pound cake. 
That means high in dairy. It's a pound cake, a bit more spongy than normal pound cake. Flavor's less strong, but I don't hate it. Two and a half out of five bars. What does it make me wish is that we could find a plant-based sushi food challenge for the princess. Secretly, she loves food challenges. I don't think she'd finish one, but she would definitely want to compete in one. We did a um, vegan sushi mukbang. We did a mukbang, but I want an actual challenge. Like we go to a restaurant, Tony makes an entire platter of vegan sushi, and dares us to finish it in a time, not in time, like 30 minutes. Do that. As a team, we can do that. He'd probably out eat me. Truthfully. The vegan sushi always seems to be like more filling. It was the princess that got me addicted to sweet potato sushi. Sweet potato tempura sushi. I get it every time I can get it now. But it's very heavy. And then. Morning oysters. He likes it raw. And wriggling. I think I like it better with this like chimichurri. The citrusy helped with it. Maybe I should have gotten two. I'm kidding, we're not doing that. There's a lime under there. There is. Some of these pieces of lobster are huge. It's probably where most of the cost comes from, actually. There's a whole half shell of lobster over here. Get rid of the rest of this flounder first. I'm a little disappointed that the uh, soy sauce with the jalapeno isn't as spicy as I like it. Maybe it needs like a Carolina Reaper. Are you really dead inside or? I might hurt be dead yourself? inside. Sounds like you're trying to hurt yourself. I can see how me constantly bringing up a Carolina Reaper could give people the idea that I have no feeling inside. But Once you've done one, they're less scary. I wonder if I'm thinking, you guys need to tell me how much fish or food does a normal bear eat on a given day? Curious. I can Google it later. Or you guys can look it up. Do like a make make our own food challenge and make it like a bear fish food challenge maybe? We make our own. People do it all the time. How much food does a bear eat in a day? Yep. Eighty to ninety pounds per of food per day. <laughs> That's very yeah, good. Thank very you. good. Thank you. There's no way in the world. Thank you. Even me. Hell, if you guys find a regular sushi challenge, I will do that for giggles. The princess would love that. This is probably only easy because there's not a ton of rice. 
there was more rice, it would be a lot harder. Did you get any rice? Only on the rolls. Not like these separate rice. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I forgot rice is separate here. Mm. You have to pay for it in the side. It's unfortunate. It's kind of lame. Rice is like an expected side. So give me a plate of vegetables. I mean, I'm gonna pay for it, but. So much food. Whatever Bear eats, he must complete. Normally I'd be mad at only two pieces of shrimp, but given what's on this plate, I can forgive them for that. Would it be rude if I started singing Iron of the Sea right now? Yes. Is that rude? <laughs> well, level one done. Now to the ball stage. Because you can take off the uh, top. Go over there. Yeah. And thus my final boss is exposed. I think it's gonna be really hard to stop me from not using chopsticks on lobster from now on. Really? It's such like the perfect tool, I never thought about it. Really? Better than using those tiny little forks to try to dig out the meat of the claws. Chopsticks are perfect. Don't worry, I've learned my lesson. And I challenge the community to do a light goal. Out of spite, they're probably gonna do it. Because through spite, all things are possible. I wanna save some of this fish. I'm taking the lobby. It looks like a smash lobby. Just opened up part of the tail. More oysters. I usually don't like my oysters raw. I prefer them steamed. I think this is a superior way. I'm sure you guys got some thoughts to the contrary. Oh, that's so awesome. Mm. What was that? Mm, towels. Hot towel ah. where it was tiny and he poured the water and they expanded. Oh, that's cool. So that's all the oysters down. Now for the rest of this lobster. Lobster and soy sauce is boss mode. Forget cocktail sauce, forget butter. Soy sauce is the way to go. Doesn't want to come apart until it gets eaten whole. Maybe I should check with my parents. Maybe I was actually born a bear. Poor lobby seen better days. <laughs> One question I do have is that if you eat Asian food, Japanese, Chinese, otherwise, do you guys use chopsticks? Did you ever learn? Do you not like them? I don't know why. I mean, I was raised eating them, so it's normal for me. I remember I used to drive my roommate insane. I ate everything with chopsticks. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner.
More lobby on. I don't know if you eat the rest of this or not. No, it looks hollow to me. A moment of silence. That's it? You're done? No, I got, I got more left. Two pieces, three Isn't pieces left. Is there some meat in there? It's hollow I inside. see some meat right there. It's not meat. That's like cartilage. It's like hollow all over his head. Then why even put it in there? Decoration? Because lobby. it was like the lobby and then his tail. Why are you going to put him so close to me? I think he freaked the princess out. I'm sorry, vegans. A little bit. Not a lot of bit, but a little bit. You're not sorry. I'm a little sorry. Nobody should have to witness this. Just like I say, if you're already here, it's too late. We have more food videos below. Final piece. I have a tiger music. Another bear victory. Cheers to you guys for making me do this. That was fun. Francis is feeling it. I mean, I like my drink and I liked the cauliflower. It was mostly, this video is mostly about bear. For some odd reason, you guys like to see me eat fish. I don't get it, I'm not complaining. I will definitely do something like that again. Probably not here. That was a bit overpriced for what I got. I think he should do a sushi boat next. If this video gets 110 likes, bear will do a sushi boat. Whose side are you on? Their side. What about my side? Nope. Sorry. Clearly you see who the princess works for. Fan before bear. She's trying to... I will do a sushi boat if you get those likes. Or some other food challenge. Well, maybe we'll put up a poll or something and we'll decide. Either way, if you, we get 110 likes, I will do something else like this. Tell us in the comments what you want us to do. Yes. But I say sushi boat. But I want to know, have you guys ever gotten the Pakoda Read Tower? Read in the comments. Were you guys expecting the actual tower like I was? <laughs> I was. The comments are going to be placed let us know if there's anything else like the show you do. That's always the place to find us. Hit that notification bell for when it's going to be videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the call. Live protein for the community. No sushi on a first date.